spooky little game called An Artful Escape Relaxing. Um, so start a new, a new game. Um, so it's about the story of Francis Vendetti, who is the nephew of a very famous folk singer. And we're just trying to trying to find our way, find our place in the world. Um, I have turned all the voices off. There's a lot of dialogue. Um, and the voice acting's really great, but it's not very relaxing, so I'm going to be reading all the dialogue for you. And there's us with our guitar. Let's strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life. No, I don't really feel on that one. Let's try a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado. I believe that's where we live. Not really into that one either. Let's shred a sci fi guitar odyssey. Summit. My kids come up here to hang out. At least they 
used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. This looks like such a peaceful forest. Looks like it'd be really nice to walk through. Wow, I can jump really far. <laughs> Oh, 
yourself a warm beer. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. I'm okay. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. Just that, I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's and Calypso. In Calypso, there's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. That looks so beautiful. Orange is my favorite color. The Artful Escape. If Rami finds out ours up here when his gear got stolen, well, I'd rather not think about it. Serious. 
jazz folk musician. Um, yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. Yeah, sure. See what I can do. You ever heard of Light Man's junk sci-fi movie? It's not a movie. It's a place. It ain't in this dead end. I'll catch you later, Tal. Calypso is usually much quieter. Gets quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. Such a nice looking town. A lot of greenery. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Yeah, look at the flyer. He has like the tiniest picture in the corner. The finale is at the Salty Seagull where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. I am there's the Salty Seagull. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You. I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is freaking hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplay his teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Wow, he's uh, really scary. Oh, I like the maps of imaginary countries. <laughs> Cafe cliche. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's nard, nard grin. Oh my god, why can I not say that word? Oh wow, what a pretty park. Look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out, you know that? Yeah. I saw the posters. There better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle, like jazz with pots and pans. Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots, coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music, tell you that for free. Okay, <laughs> I still don't know what Skiffle is. Oh, look. Hey, old fella. Oh, you can pet the dog. It's a sight, make no mistake. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, we've explored this level, so now let's go up. Using this little cart. Such a cool town. I wonder if there is actually towns like this that have like multiple levels. You ride a little cart to go up. Whoa, what was this? What have you come as? Oh no, please don't tell me. His uncle died in a car crash. Is that what I'm looking at here? Zombie Vendetti. Oh my god. That 
is in poor taste. That is in poor taste. Wow. Okay. Let's just look at the nice view. Okay, let's let's go down this way. See what else there is. Wow, a, f a fairy floss. Office. Wow. Oh, who's this? Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the flyers for your show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation, and genius ain't hereditary kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Wow, there's a lot of very rude people in this town. Planted page, expensive books, minimal security. Cassandra, you're leaving. What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. <laughs> lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi drivel. Just how you dig it. Oh, here we go. You can choose one. Uh, morbid psychedelia. A scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. Wings of Orion. A king disguises himself as a beast, a piece of overcast sky. Okay. A uh, velochrome using an illegal avatar. A mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city. Uh, they all sound very strange. Let's go for this one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, aren't you gonna thank me? Sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... Actually, no, never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. Okay, that was strange. Oh wow, look at this bit of the city. That's really nice. Um, let's see what's this way first before we go up again. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Is that phone? It is ringing. What? Ah, uh, hello. Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Yeah. Just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up? Low photo morale? Mayoral corruption? Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events. I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow, okay. Don't cock it up. Yep. Yeah. No pressure or anything. 
stage. No. 
not as myself, but as someone else entirely. Um, I should put a record, put on a record and chill out. Good idea. We mankind are just 62 miles away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe, in all its grandeur, its wonder, and desolation, waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet. Wow. What just happened? <laughs> knocks this light. That's right. Someone knocks on my door in the middle of the night. There's no way I'm answering it. Um, hello. Greetings. Wow. Very strange looking. Did I do that with 
Who's that me? You're tuning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait, what does that mean? How did you organize this? Maybe we should have gone down that way first before we went down. This is really pretty park. Oh, is this the captain? <laughs> That's how you make an entrance, baby. <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him. I'm afraid so. I see, 
I see. You're all over it like a pork chop. Now repeat after me. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like do it at the same time as him or like wait. sign is 
Kiss to French Kiss Death. Okay. That's a striking visual. <laughs> Are we going to French Kiss Death? One day, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the gray matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in-between bits. I suddenly felt quite uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. I was completely natural. Hold your tongue to the roof of your mouth and think of the color beverel. What does it look like? The cosmic extraordinary. Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? All right. Let's see what's behind the door. Wow. It's just a floating door. Oh wow. That looks really cool. There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the Cosmic Extraordinary. You're looking for the lung. The Cosmic Lung. What's that? It's home, baby, it's home.
I go. This is the end.
was wild. <laughs> Welcome to the Cosmic Lung. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. 